Vendor applications for the 48th Annual Hillbilly Days Festival are now open for submission. The Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce is seeking food, craft, alcohol, and other types of vendors to line the streets of Pikeville in April 2025. Here's what vendors need to know about the application process and what the chamber is looking for. So this year there are a few changes to our application. Um, we would love for our vendors to really take a look when we have put in different rules and regulations. This year we have updated so that they have a better understanding of our electrical services because we have electricians that are on staff all four days from setup to tear down. And it's important for our vendors to take note about what's happening and the changes that are being made. We have made it as seamless as possible. Everything's still completely online but we've made it so that you can identify what your needs are and what you would need from us and what we need from you. Applications are currently open. They will remain open until uh, sometime in March. However, you will occur a late fee, which is a $50 late fee after February 1st. So you can begin applying now. It is a two week period between when we receive your application and when you may or may not receive um, the invoice and the correspondence from us. Uh, but. We can't wait to see you, you all in April. Journey into the extraordinary hideaway novelties, smoke and vape. The finest selection of vapes, glass, edibles, and more. Cole Run Caney and South Williamson. As always, the Chamber wants to bring new and unique vendors into downtown Pikeville as well as fan favorites. Applications are open at sekchamber.com slash hillbillydays. Last year, we redesignated our entire parking garage to be only handcrafted vendors. So there's no commercial, there's no nonprofits. It's all handcrafted, made by the vendor spaces inside the parking garage. We would love to see that have a great diversity again this year. We would love to have the alcohol vendors having our local um, distilleries and our local brewers there inside of that to just show what our mountains have. And then as always, anytime that there's something new or something interesting food or retail wise, we want you and we want you to have a spot in our festival. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.